am Srini Javadi. My most favorite activities to do are to sing, to swim, to paint, to read and to write. Fictional stories are my most favorite books to read. Mostly J.K. Rowling and Nancy Drew. So today I'm going to be enacting as Hermione Granger from the book Harry Potter. Muggle-born Gryffindor becomes best friends with Harry Potter and Ron Weasley. Hermione's most prominent features include her prodigious intellect and cleverness. She is level-headed, book smart and always very logical. Throughout the series, Hermione uses the skills of a librarian and a teacher to gather the information necessary to defeat Voldemort, the Dark Lord. She balances bossiness and kindness in the perfect way. She is inspiring, brave, helpful and bold no matter what she is doing. And she is, after all, the brightest witch of her age. Hermione's intelligence is instrumental in helping Harry Potter. said that if she found any pupil in the air on their broomstick that calls for immediate expulsion. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. Is he flying already? Has anyone seen a toad? Never lost one. And oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've tried many simple spells myself, and they've all worked out for me. For example, may I? Oculus Repair. That's better, isn't it? Holy crickets, you're Harry Potter! I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Pleasure. You two better get changed into your robes. Oh, by the way, do either of you know which house you'll be in? I've been asking around. I really hope I'll be in Gryffindor. By what I've heard, it is by far the best house. And Dumbledore himself was in Gryffindor. Can you believe it? Well, the Ravenclaw is pretty good too. Anyway, I'd better get going and help Neville find his toad. I don't get what he loves about that slimy little thing, but he's bawling his heart out over it. And, uh, by the way, you have dirt on your nose. Just that, did you? <coughs> Let's see what we have in this day. <coughs> God, that was a close call. Did anyone see what was underneath it? You don't use your eyes, do you, Ron Weasley? Did you not see what it was standing on? It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. Someone put it there. It's guarding something. Uh, Harry, Ron, you have to stop moving. This is devil's nerve. If you don't relax, it'll only kill you faster. Ron's not relaxing, is he? Do what I say and relax. Are you okay? Run! Oh, I need to do something. Okay. Oh, I learned something about devil snare and herbology. Devil snare, devil, devil snare. It's deadly fun, but it will sulk in the sun. That's it. Devil snare hates sunlight. Lumos, you love her. Now. And if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you two come up with another clever idea to get us all killed, or worse, expelled. I always heard Hogwarts end of the term exams are very frightful, but I find them quite rather enjoyable. Hmm, everyone else is so scared. I bid you good night. Stop, stop, stop! You're going to take somebody's eye out. And besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. It's a twist and flick. Watch me. Wingardium Leviosa. No, no. You foul load some evil little cockroach! That's so good. Actually, so good. 
Brilliant. Come on. Now let's get to Buckbeak. Uh, Harry, Ronald told me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Parvati that Harry's looking for you. Just a second. Um, please don't make me say it again. Hagrid's looking for me. I've got an owl! Cat Ronald, what do you expect? It's in his nature. Huh, that's rich coming from the owner of a smelly old shoe brush. It's alright, Crookshank. You just ignore the mean little boy. What happened, you ask, Harry? Well, Ron is blaming Crookshanks after he lost his rat. He's so sad. Here. Ronald Weasley, you crawl back here after all these weeks and you say, Hey? Harry, where's my wand? Harry Potter, you give me my wand right now. And Ron, how exactly do you have the sword of Gryffindor with you? You just wait until I spell you. So anyway. Back to magic. If I put a bit of this in this, the potion will be complete. Uh, that doesn't look too good. Harry, run! Come here! Look, I've prepared the polyjuice potion in a solid form so it'll be easier. It doesn't look too good. If it's properly brewed, the polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change himself to another physical form. It means that you and Harry can be allowed to transform into crab and boil for just one hour. Here goes nothing. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs>